Greetings, you're looking at an LG mini split system that right now is putting out wonderful feeling cold air. And that's a good thing because summer's coming. And we are in the Inland Empire region of Southern California and it is going to be hot, hot, hot very soon. Recently, this system wasn't putting out cold air. I had to add refrigerant after checking the pressure. Realized it was low on R410A refrigerant. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I charged up the system, so stay tuned. Hello DIYers, I have a three ton LG mini split system. It's a three ton compressor connected to two indoor air conditioning units. And we're currently purging the system that is removing all of the air and all of the contaminants in the system so that we have a vacuum. Uh, the system will be completely purged, completely evacuated, and then we can install new R410A refrigerant into the system. So purging the system takes, eh, 20 minutes, half hour, and we'll come back when we're done. Okay, so we're done evacuating all of the air, all of the contaminants out of the system. We've successfully created a vacuum. We have our pressure gauge, gauges showing a negative PSI, and they've been holding at that PSI since I turned off the vacuum machine here for over an hour. So that means there's no leaks in the system. So we're good to go. We're good to start adding refrigerant back into the system. As you can see, there's a negative pressure. And what we're gonna do is we're connecting the blue or low side hose to the larger tube on the compressor. And we're gonna connect the yellow service hose to the actual tank containing the R410A refrigerant. We're not using the red hose or the high side uh, at all and we need to weigh in six pounds actually 6.17 pounds according to the LT specification worth of R410A refrigerant so we're weighing that in now we've got the gauges showing yeah the refrigerant's going in at about 120, 125 PSI. I'm just kind of throttling it in slowly. They're just dropping. So we started off at 26 pounds and 10 ounces worth of refrigerant. And now it's dropping slowly. We'll weigh this in until we're down to where we need to be. Okay, so as you can see, our tank weight is dropping a little bit. I increased the speed at which the refrigerant is flowing into the system uh, a little bit. Uh, it's now flowing in at about 215 PSI. Uh, that fills up the uh, compressor a little bit more quickly. We can safely do that. We don't want to go too, too high on the PSI, but where it is now, 215 is pretty good. And you can see the weight is continuing to drop.
All right, we're done adding refrigerant. We hit 20 pounds, 11.5 ounces on the scale. That's where we wanted to end up at. Actually, it was a little off, as I mentioned earlier, but we're pretty close. We should have nice cold air flowing throughout our house. So I'm gonna close the valve on the blue side on the manifold and then close the valve on the tank. Okay, now that our compressor is filled with refrigerant, note that the PSI reading on the manifold gauge is 230 PSI. That's with the compressor shut off. It's not running. We're showing 230 PSI. Okay, so I stepped inside the house and turned on both of the indoor units that are connected to this compressor. Each indoor unit is 18,000 BTU. That means each indoor unit is one and a half tons. And I've got them both running. They're putting out beautiful cold air. It feels wonderful. And as you can see, the PSI of the compressor is running at about 119, 120. That's ideal. That's actually straight out of the LG specs. 120 PSI. Actually, LG specifies between 120 and 130. 130 and 135, something like that. But anyway, we're running really well. We got cold air going out. It feels great. Thanks for watching.